What is going on, everybody? It's y'all main man, B Million. Y'all know we back with another class food review. Excuse me. The sun a little bit in my eyes. I was squinting a little bit, but uh, I decided to spend a block on this. It's, you know, sometimes you got to spend a block on, like, on your ex, uh, on a restaurant, or whatever you're doing. Sometimes you got to spend a block to see what's up with it. So I'm at this spot called Shati. We went here, like, maybe, like, seven, eight months ago. Um, I saw a lot of influencers hyping it up, talking about this gas and all that. I said that shit was weak. Weak as fuck, actually. Um, so I'm spending the block to see if it's really like that. Maybe the cook that was in there was having a bad day or something. I want to go over here, spin the block, see if it's decent. I'm still seeing a lot of influencers say this spot is great, it's goaded. I don't believe it just from my own personal experience, but let's see if the taste buds have a different feeling about this restaurant. Let's hop this out. Let me give y'all a rundown on what we got. So we got the big bird, the sandwich, um, spicy with the honey glaze. I had to try that. I didn't try that last time. We got the Sha Tea Classic Double. Um, we got a large bubble tea over ice with fresh vanilla and tapioca. Then we got the banana pudding and the beef loaded french fries. The last time I came here, I had the seasoned french fries. Honestly, that was the only positive in the, in the review. That was some of the best french fries I've ever had in my life. So let's dive into this. Let's see what's going on. I will say, efficiency-wise, it was very quick. I ordered this, and it, it got this out relatively fast. I ain't gonna lie to you. Let's open up the box. Take off the Shati logo. Okay, oh, shit. Off rip, we got the Shat fries, or the loaded beef fries. Oh, oh. Let me show y'all what they looking like. As you can see, we got the nice seasoned french fries with some beef on it. And then it has this little red paprika. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. At least that's what it's tasting like. And uh, this shit, the, I only taste the sauce so far and it's decent. Get a little bit of everything. I gotta get a little bit of the beef, a little bit of the paprika, and then of course some of them amazing French fries. Hold on, there's some sort of there's a, like a pepper in here. There's some peppers in here. Oh shit! Oh my god! That cheese sauce is so damn good with that paprika in it. Oh my God. And then the beef, I will say, the beef, I think it's literally just some beef. Hold on. Let's eat it by itself. Oh no. That beef got some good seasoning too. Hold on. I was about to discredit them. Oh shit. That beef, that beef me go crazy. Hold on. Yeah. Yep. 9.8 out of 10 on the beef fries. This shit is phenomenal. When you talk about that cheese sauce, being outstanding, bro. Like, I don't even know how to explain what it tastes like, but it's some of the best cheese sauce I've ever had. And when you drizzle it on top of these fries, they got a little bit of peppers in here with that ground beef. And then whatever seasoning they putting on that, those french fries, it all come together and just have this big ass party on your taste buds. That's exactly what's happening in my mouth right now. And I just don't want the party in. This shit is ridiculous. When you talk about good quality french fries, they cook to perfection, seasoned well, beef is on point, cheese sauce on point. They don't mess with the french fries, I can say that. Yeah. 9.8, baby. 9.8. Reach in the bag and see what's the next item. Pull the tag off. Oh man, it's the classic, the classic. Let me show y'all what this burger looking like, man. 
Let me show y'all this exquisite looking burger. Look at that. You got the double patties. Let me lift the top. I think that's a jalapeno right there. You got the lettuce. Uh, we got the tomatoes. We got the shy secret sauce. And we got two pieces of cheese, some onions. Hold on. This is looking ridiculous. Look at that burger. This burger looks beautiful. When you talk about a good quality looking burger, this is the definition. We finna fuck this up. Hold on. Come here, baby. One bite real quick. Big ass bite. Hold on. I'm gonna let it dance on my taste buds a little bit more. Mmm. We gotta get one more bite. One more bite up in there. Grabbing the jalapeno. So, flavor wise, everything's solid. It's good. But I don't think anything wows me about it. I think this is a good smash patty burger. It's amazing. The cheese is melted beautifully. The top is nice and fresh. The jalapenos actually ain't hit no much. There's no kick to it. I need a little kick in the ass sometimes. And these jalapenos ain't really giving it to me. So those you can just take off. I don't know who the hell those are supposed to be kicking. They 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 are not a factor right now. Um, so we gotta take those off. I even ate it by itself a little bit, and it's just still one hidden. Um, patties, nice, juicy. They dripping all over your boy. Oh, look at that. Look at the way she drip on you. We, we love a good drip. But um, it's, it's, a, it's a cool burger. It's going to get like a seven. I think it's juicy. Uh, I think the, the top is up fresh. I think it could be seasoned a little bit more aggressively, and I think this would be a great nine out of ten burger. But I think it's not seasoned as good as I would like it to be. I think it's solid, though. I don't think the onions are hitting that much either. I'm not. The onions are on here, but they not doing nothing. I think it's a whole lot of lettuce. A little bit too much lettuce for my liking, but it's a cool burger. I like it. It's solid. 7 out of 10 on a burger. It's a cool burger. Yep. Good solid seven. All right. A nice little something to refresh us. Get us relocked in. We got a nice bubble tea over ice. Let's pop. Come on now. Fuck. Damn. Pop your ass out. All right. Let's see if this shit hidden. And this is the vanilla bean. When you talk about a nice subtle refresher, it's it. When you're eating heavy ass burgers and shit, sometimes you don't need a heavy ass drink like an RC or a Pepsi or a Coke or something like that. You need something calm and refreshing, like a nice uh, vanilla bean iced tea. And I think it has the right amount of vanilla bean to where it's not overpowering. It gives you a nice little subtle taste. Eight out of 10. I definitely recommend that one. Definitely recommend that one. Uh, so the last thing, obviously, if I reach into this bag, it should be the spicy chicken sandwich. The one who I said last time was bad as hell. This chicken sandwich better come with it. I don't know if I got the spicy last time, but this time I did. I know for sure last time I didn't get the honey glaze on it. This motherfucker definitely filthy, though. Like, it's filthy. Like, look at that thing. That thing filthy. My hands already dirty just from one little touch. That thing juicy. Look at that. You got the pickles at the bottom. You got the cold saw at the top. You got the shot sauce. And then we got the honey glaze. Let's dive into it. And let's see if they redeem themselves. This honey glaze is ridiculous. But hey. Let's dive in. I need one more bite. One more bite. Mmm. Let me talk to y'all about how this is gonna hit your taste buds. 
This is all it's gonna do to your mouth real quick. You don't get an immediate heat of that honey. Nice, sweet, nice. You don't get that savory taste of that chicken, cool. But then you get that coleslaw coming in there with a nice little, nice little taste. It ain't nothing too crazy. Then you got the pickles coming in, tickling your tongue a little bit. And then that heat gonna come through and tickle the back of your throat just a little bit. That's a little bit. Just gonna tickle it. Boom! And you gonna be like, damn, okay, okay. Packing a little bit of heat there. But it's definitely better than the last time I had it. It's nice, it's flavorful. That chicken is juicy. Uh, the bun is made to perfection. I think all of this works really well. I think that shot sauce is amazing. The honey glaze is taking this to another level. That nice little sweet and spicy hit that you get when you eating this takes it over the top. If it's one thing I love, if it's one thing I love, it's a nice little sweet and spicy hit that's done to perfection. This one's kind of good. I love it. I think the balances of the flavors are really good. It's dripping and oozing all over daddy. But hey, we ain't gonna complain about it. If it ain't sloppy, it ain't right. That's the that's the that's the downside of Chicago food. It'd be good, but your hands gonna be a little messy when you eating it. Mmm. That's gonna solve an eight out of ten. Eight out of ten on a chicken sandwich. Phenomenal. You know, gotta wash it down with a little bit of that vanilla bean iced tea. Oh, I love that right there. And another main star from the last time I did this review, it was the banana pudding. I saved it for last because I knew there was a good chance of it being a hit. Let's see if they continue in the tradition. Damn, this spoon flimsy as hell. I will say it's very airy. Seems very airy, not thick enough. Might not be thick. That motherfucker definitely packed that flavor though. Mmm. I think why I like this so much that there's not an overwhelming amount of bananas. I know it's called banana pudding, but I hate when there's a lot of bananas in my banana pudding. Just not a big banana guy. I'm also like a little bit, not a lot. That's, that's all I ever need. A little bit of banana, a bunch of cookies, graham crackers. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this one has some sort of like, I don't know what that is. Some sort of frosting. That shit hits. Has like a nice little vanilla flavor going all through it. This right here is amazing. So, I will say overall, this is a lot better experience for me personally. Um, the restaurant, maybe I went when it just opened. I don't know. But it was very underwhelming the first time around. This time, it's a spot that maybe I could pull up to every now and then if I want a nice little chicken sandwich, a nice little slide of burger, a smash burger, some banana pudding, some good boba tea. Boba tea! Love me a good boba tea. But hey, if y'all love this review, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Your boy D. Millie here. We one of the best food reviewing communities in the world. Let's get it, baby. Let's keep climbing that ladder and let's keep building on something special. I love y'all. I hope y'all have a blessed day. This is your boy D. Millie, and I'm out, baby. Peace.